What's up, guys? Uh, thanks for checking out another episode of Kenny's Record Collection. Uh, today's episode is actually a contest submission for my boy, Dr. October. Yeah, my friend, I think he uh, he's from Hungary. And uh, he's got a YouTube channel. Posts some great uh, metal and rock and punk rock stuff. And uh, he's got a cool uh, style about his videos. I, I tried to emulate his angle that he uses. He gets up in the camera. I got the backwards hat in tribute to him. I even got my dog over there. Doc Ock's dog walks through the, through the scenes sometimes. And I'm even gonna crack open a beer in his name. It's actually an empty can of Iron Maiden Trooper beer. It's too early here, it's like 10 o'clock <laughs> in New York. So here's to him, cheers. Um, the contest is very simple. You just have to show three soundtracks that you like. So I mean, I got a few soundtracks in my collection. So I'm gonna start with this one. The soundtrack to the movie, The Misfits. Uh, this came out, I don't know, 1959, 1960. I think it was one of Marilyn Monroe's last uh, movies. It was definitely Clark Gable's last movie. It tell, talks about it on the back cover. But I mean, I'm not uh, a big fan of those old movies. The reason I have this is for, as you can see in the background, The Misfits, uh, one of my favorite bands of all time. But this record was actually very inspirational to Glenn Danzig of The Misfits. Uh, if you look at the font right here, they use the same font on the Three Hits for Hell record. And also, on the back of their first record, uh, Cough Cool, uh, he thanks Marilyn, uh, Montgomery, and Clark. Actually, I think it says Marilyn, Clark, and Monty. Nerd alert. Yeah, all right. So if you look at the layout too, the art direction, very similar to a Misfits record. The, uh, the purple, the way the images are kind of laid out, cut out. So, I mean, I can't speak that much on the music. It's okay, it's like 1950s soundtrack music. You know, it's got a cool vibe to it. So I just wanted to show that. All right. Here's my second one. This record is a huge part of my life. Uh, Jimmy Cliff, The Harder They Come soundtrack. Just really inspirational uh, reggae, ska, like rock steady songs. Um, the soundtrack isn't all um, Jimmy Cliff either. Um, you got Draw Your Breaks by Scotty, uh, Rivers of Babylon, by the Melodians, uh, Sweet and Dandy by the Maytals, you know, Toots and the Maytals, uh, Johnny Too Bad by the Slickers, Shantytown, Desmond Decker, Pressure Drop, the Maytals. The rest is all Jimmy Cliff. I mean, you can get it if you really want. The harder they come. I mean, to me, th this music is just, it's spiritual. I, when I listen to it, I, I get a real, I get chills, man. Here's the uh, inside. Cool pictures. I mean, this record, for, for as valuable it is, as it is to me, I mean, I find it all the time when I dig. I found so many copies of this, and you know, I, I give them away. Like, if one of my friends says they don't have this record, I'm like, dude, I got you. It, I got a couple more copies, like, sitting back there. So, you know, it, it's so good. If you come across this record, get it. That's all I could say. All right, my last submission. The Warriors original motion picture soundtrack. Now, this isn't the way it was originally released. Uh, the soundtrack came out in like 1980. And it was basically just the, the songs from the movie, not the soundtrack itself. So the, the old soundtrack had the Joe Walsh song, you know, In the City. And all the other, uh, what's his name, um, the guy who write, wrote a lot of tracks, Desmond Child, I think, had a couple songs. He wound up writing songs for uh, Bon Jovi and Kiss. And um, But this is the Waxworks version of the soundtrack. It came out probably five years ago. 
It's pretty sought after. Um, look at that artwork. Look at the gatefold. The Turnbull ACs. That's the gang that's chasing the Warriors with the school bus. Very cool. I mean, the artwork alone uh, is worth the price. You know what I'm saying? The back cover is even a painting. That's the DJ. You know? Be looking good, Warriors. All the way back to Coney. Yeah. Um, let me show you the actual records because they're pretty cool. Um, this version, uh, it was pretty limited. I mean, I'm not like a limited maniac, but if, if I can get something that's limited, I'll jump on it. Um, this is like the spray paint. Uh, it's supposed to like emulate the bomb trains, you know, from the 70s and 80s, which I love that era. And, you know, anything to do with that era is just, I'm on it. You know what I mean? Um, the other record has a little bit different label. It's got the W, Mark the Spot, Rembrandt, you know, pretty cool. And, you know, one disc is the actual score of the movie. And then the other disc is the songs. So it's great. You know, depending on your mood. You know what I mean? So, yeah. That's my uh, submission to Dr. October. Doc Ock, man. What's up? Um, so, yeah, that's that's it. Um, go follow him, Dr. October. I'm going to put a link in this video. Uh, I'm going to put my own link. Please follow me if you can. Subscribe. Uh, check out my other videos. I did a collection of my uh, Faith No More stuff. Uh, I did another video of my Metallica collection. Uh, I've got plenty more ideas to come. I, I did a video of uh, the Led Zeppelin 2 hot mix, how to spot one, how to check out your collection to see if you, you're holding on to one of those copies. So please, uh, like I said, follow Dr. October. Did I say Dr. Octopus before? I hope I didn't. Um, yeah, so that's it. Have a good day.